after we got the correlation table, then we just in first we import network from file system. Now we choose the network.txt and we open. Then it can recognize the source as source, the target as target attribute. And we click OK. Now he here is the basic network. First, we calculate its uh, uh, cluster, its modularity. How many clusters does this network have? So we click apps. There is a uh, app manager. If you don't have the uh, cluster width in your uh, Cytoscape software, you just go to app manager, then search this cluster width to install install it it will take a little while then you click open with now we choose the algorithm with mcod uh, i often see it in some articles so we click analyze the network now here we can see the node table here it it has the several in uh, it have several uh, uh, new attribute here is the cluster now we can see it, 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 it is uh, five clusters. Now first, we export this table out because uh, the, the, their attribute cannot be used as a uh, layout. So we need to hand modify it. Uh, here we, we just, uh, because it have a empty space here. This is uh, the shortcoming of the landscape. Now we we add a cluster uh, CSV, then we click OK. Then we go to the then we go to the cluster dot CSV. Uh, then we will remove some we uh, we remove some columns. This column should be removed. Then the name one the name should be click should be moved to the first column. Uh, then the select and the shared name should be removed also. Now we got uh, the this one. Uh, first uh, we uh, remove the space with uh, we remove all the space with uh, with with empty space with nothing uh, we, we just replace replace all the empty then also mm, we clusters now we, we also uh, this unclustered we also give it a attribute uh, don't leave any space uh, we can see the the figure in here he has non-clustered. Maybe we can change it to non-clustered or just keep unclustered. You can do it by yourself. Then we control S to save it. Here is our attribute, the, the node, uh, another node attribute. Now we can uh, go back to, to this. Uh, now we can just import the node of it. Then we import the cluster CSV. Now here is also a key. Then we click OK. Uh, we rem first we remove this we remove this column. Hmm? Uh, we can remove this. Delete column. Cluster. We delete this col column first. Uh, we also delete. Uh, now no, we import again. Maybe it can't replace it. Now it's to see. Now here we have the modified the cluster the column. Then we can choose the layout. Then group layout by cluster. Then it each uh, has its owner uh, circle. This should be hand modified the, the position of it. Uh, first, we, we uh, choose the style. We we uh, setting some default. We also oh, there is also another table we should uh, uh, import the node table. 
because we need the abundance, uh, the size. We need the we need the abundance data to set the size, another size. And we'll also click OK. Now here we can we can see uh, the abundance is also merged together. Now we here we choose a simple one. This is a, a nice layout I usually use, a, a nice style because it can modify a lot of things. Now we go to first we change the color. We change this color by uh, we can have a look at the paper. Uh, the color is by, the the edge color is by group, and uh, the the no the inside color is by by the clusters. Then we first uh, is by clusters. The fill color is by cluster. Then we can describe the mapping. Then we can choose uh use uh, set one color, and uh, you can click it here to modify it by your by yourself. Uh, no, no, I'm not going to show you how. You just do it by yourself. You can see here. Also, he he has a you have a border border color. Now, if you did one province one color, you can choose it by yourself. Uh, we we now I I just just add a sign color, and we click OK. Then also the the width you should set. We we give give it a five. Maybe it's too large. You can too large. Then we can change it to three. This is a uh, uh, it, it needs patience to modify this. If you want to choose um, choose, you should click shift. Then then uh the the, the mouse uh, right right left click. Then you can hold, hold all this one. You can choose all this uh, module, all this cluster. Then, then now you can move it. You can move it the position of it. Maybe like this. Uh, we also can. We also can can shift. Then click this this part. Uh, then we move this. We now now if you it two two parties clicked then you just the move the mouse to the white place white place then it remove this selection deselected and you also like this okay now this is the shape of it okay the border size the now we also the label label we have set the label only Mm, only, only the abundance more than one percent. Then we keep it, its abundant its label. Now here is our, uh, I have set it for you. Then second is the, the label color. Label color is fine. Label font size. Maybe we can increase it a little bit. We can just you you use the scroll to increase it. It is. Now we use the label size. We change it. It is too small. Then maybe we can choose to thirty. Then it's a, it's a better. Then also we can change the shape of it. No, no. We also we just keep it uh, keep it uh, as a round one. The size of it. The size we should uh, click it abundance. Then we select the uh, uh, this is a continuous mapping. Then we double click it. Double click list, then then you can increase the size of the smallest one, increase the size of the largest one. Mm. This is a scale, something like a scaling, right? Yeah, now it's okay. Now we also need the node attribute has been has been set. Then we go to the age part. Now, as we, you can see from this figure, it is uh, the positive is green, the negative is in red. Is red. Now we go to if you want to, the color is unselected. You add color to arrows, then you 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 can set the color. Then we we have I have a column for you, positive or negative. Then this is a descriptive mapping. Then we also add it. Then we also by by the by the set uh, by rainbow. Now. Now we can change this color to green, like the figure there. 
Now uh, it's a uh, it's okay. Let me check check again. It's green and red. Uh, it's a, it's a positive is green. Positive is green. We we just need to reverse it. Positive is a green. Positive is green. Then then this is a, you you can select it by yourself. Positive is green. Positive is green. Okay. Then now it it positive is green. Uh, negative is red. Also the label, the label. We we just remove the mapping. We don't need to label anything of it. Just remove it. And the label color. No, we don't have it. Label font. No, we don't have it. Sign the line type. Line type. Line type. If you want to change it, you you just you can you can just change it. No, we don't we don't need to. Uh, we we check this figure. Line. No no no. Uh, this are Spearman correlation. Ah, uh, it is the 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 width of the uh of this one should be by by this one. So if you if you want to change it, this let me think the width of it, line type line width. Because I didn't uh, help you to set uh, the width of uh discreetly. I I only have a uh, correlation one. Um, so maybe you can choose the, the weight, then you choose a continuous mapping, then also like the size, you can you can keep it as a continuous. The, the, yes, just just the, the correlation, the absolute value of the correlation. Or you can just made made a made a new column for for this. Uh, for this edge table, you just uh, divide the correlation into several parts, then 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 you can do 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 that the net the the edge width setting like that. You can just uh, I can show you how. You can. You can add a new column, then then with with this Spearman right val value cut it into pieces. Maybe I can add a, you a new column for this value set. Okay, I, I will add a, I will add a new 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 script in this so that you have a you have a, you can choose it from here. Now here is the basic uh, setting of it. The legend uh, if you can. Uh, create a legend. It's too, really ugly here, but you can use the export it outside. Then then, then can modify it by the uh, Adobe Illustrator. Just export the PDF. Then then you can just uh, extract the color from here. It will be make it will make it easier for you. Just you use to, um, to A B C D download. I just put it in download software. A B C D in here. Mm, we also can export uh, the image outside from fire export uh, PDF. Mm, just put it here. Then you can check. You can open open it by 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 Adobe Illustrator. Then slightly uh, change it. And that's all.